I have a cute little project for you today. We're going to be making these cute little paper pumpkins. Something fun to decorate your house with for the fall since it definitely started feeling like fall here in New York today. So the supplies are super simple for this guy. I happen to have a white piece of paper, but if you have construction paper that is orange or green, you can absolutely use that too. Because I have white paper, I picked out some crayons to use for my colors today. I also have a marker in both of those colors to draw my lines. You can also use some colored pencils. I'm gonna set those aside. The other supplies I have today are glue stick, some scissors, and a ruler. So I made this little one here by using the width of my paper the short way. The one I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use the width of the paper the long way, so I make two different sizes. So what you're gonna do when you're gonna make your strips, I made each of my strips an inch wide just to make it easy for me. So when I measured, I took the ruler and I just marked off on one side of the page each of my inches, and then on the other side of the page, I marked off my inches. And then I'm gonna use my ruler to connect those dots. And that will make my nice, easy line for me to cut on. So I'll show you here some of my leftover pieces from my little one that I made. So you can see that I've got my lines that I drew from my dots that I measured, and then I used my crayon to color in my color. For the big one that I'm gonna make for you guys today, you can see the lines on this one are definitely longer, okay? And then I used a little bit of a different color of orange so that I can mix my pumpkins. And like I said, if you happen to have construction paper that are the colors that you need, go ahead and use that. You won't need to color. So the next thing you're gonna do, you want at least six strips. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Grab your glue stick, take one strip and flip it upside down. Now what helps with the page that I colored is you can see which way is right side up and upside down. So I'm gonna make a little mark in the middle with my glue stick. Then I'm gonna add another strip going this way, add some more glue, and then I'm gonna go diagonal. Trying to match up the middles of my strips each time. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four strips. You can definitely stay here. That's what I did with this guy since he was a little small. Or you can add more just to add a little more depth to your pumpkin. So four to six strips I feel like are perfect, just depending on how you want it to look. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my original piece that I laid down first, this cross one, and I'm gonna glue the top here. I'm gonna attach the ends. I'm gonna glue there, attach that end, and then I'm just gonna keep attaching ends. So then I'm gonna do my long ways one that I did, attach that, some more glue. And I'm gonna keep going around until all my pieces are attached. So you can kind of start to see how this takes shape. See? While the glue is still wet, you can definitely move things around to get it exactly where you want it. Okay, use the tips of your fingers to squeeze in there to make sure it attaches well. This one and one more to go. Now, if you did one of the flower pot projects with us over the summer, you might remember this cute little way of creating these, okay? So I put some glue on my very top because my last thing to do is I'm gonna add a leaf. So on some of my paper here, my white paper that I happen to have, or if you have green, just gonna draw a leaf that I think good size would be. my pumpkin. I'm going to color it in. If you use the side of the color of the crayon, it helps you shade a little bit faster instead of using the tip. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'm going to use my scissors to cut it out. Okay. 
taking my time. All right, and then I've got my glue on the top of my pumpkin. I'm going to add my leaf right at the top. And there's my pumpkin. So I've got this one. I've got this one, two different sizes. If you want it to squat a little bit, you can always press it down real quickly and then you got it a little squattier right there. We all know that all pumpkins come in different shapes and sizes. So I hope you guys have fun with this project today. Very simple supplies and it's something that I think you can have a lot of fun doing and you get to do as many as you want. All right guys, have a great day.